My K7 reinvigorated my passion for photography, so I maintain an obvious pro K7 bias. I'm not ashamed to admit this. If any camera earns a bias, the K7 is that camera. By the standards of 2015, sure, it is not as capable as a contemporary camera, and the video is already at least one standard obsolete. But it can still deliver high quality images suitable for printing up to 20 by 30. The K7 delivers images with positive, pleasing results and great feel. It's comfortable, like scratching your childhood dog behind the ears. It's solid, like the kind of hit needed to reach the bleachers. It's easy, like sleeping in on the first Saturday after finals. Those qualities carry into all the interfaces and features. The K7 slips into your hand and feels at home. The K7 does not feel like a tool that you use. Instead, it feels like an extension of your mind that records your creative vision for you. This is a simply stellar camera. One aspect of Pentax cameras going back to 1957 is that, by and large, they are well designed for both ergonomics and usability. Once you get used to them, you can make basically any operational adjustment without looking away from the viewfinder. The K7 carries on in that lineage, and its ergonomics and interface DNA remain today, years later, in the latest Pentax flagship APS-C DSLR bodies. What I like most about the K7 is that it gives the photographer exactly what they need and then throws in a few extra things that the photographer can grow into. If this is a camera you are thinking of as your first DSLR, as it was my first DSLR, it would be a good choice. Unlike the flagship bodies of other makers, the layout of the Pentax K7 is intuitive the menu system easily navigable, and it allows the use of all manner of legacy manual focus lenses, many of which are very inexpensive and still have, by today's standards, very high quality optics. In fact, most of the images playing during this slideshow were taken with manual focus lenses. Legacy manual focus lenses. Going through the specs of a K7, at this point, is silly. They're all obsolete by contemporary standards. The sensor at 14.6 megapixels, however, is still sensational. As long as you keep the sensitivity under 400 ISO in most settings, you'll have images with a suitably low noise level for enlargement. If you push the sensor to 1600 ISO, you can still obtain images suitable to print on 5x7 paper. Also, because of how large the pixels are at 14.6 megapixels on this sensor, you have relatively low noise when you're shooting a lower ISO setting, even by today's standards. In terms of ruggedness, the K7 has many on-the-market today DSLRs beat. The single-piece magnesium alloy chassis makes it durable and solid beyond what most other manufacturers offer until you get to their top-end cameras. And even then, not always. The K7 is heavy, yes, but it's durable enough that when one of my friend's kids asks to borrow a camera, I loan them the K7. I don't worry about it being damaged by kids who play rough, drop things, and aren't mindful of what's hanging off their neck, banging around on door frames and tables. So if you're looking at this camera as a way to help your kid, maybe as young as eight, get into photography, the K7 is tough enough and generally inexpensive enough to be a good option. Really, even today though, six years after the first K7 left the factory, it's a good camera and a good option for almost any shooter. Mine has more than 100,000 actuations on it at this point. The shutter runs without issue and the sensor has a manageable number of hot pixels. The only places the K7 truly lags by today's standards are high ISO performance and video. The video, even in 2009, was not as good as competitors' flagship APS-C DSLRs could provide. By today's standard, the video seems to be not much of an improvement over an old tube TV. Look, there's so much information about the K7 on the web at this point, six years after its release, that I don't have anything new or groundbreaking to say. 
So let's leave the review with this. If you decide to buy a K7, you will not be disappointed. You will find that it was a good investment. You will truly love the photos that you take if you have the creative vision to support what the Pentax K7 can do.